Well, in the last 50 years, a number of Bahamians have made history on the world stage from the arts to sports. Tonight in our Independence feature, our Laurencia Smith chats with the man who paved the way for basketball greats like Rick Fox, Buddy Heal, Kai Jones, DeAndre Ayton, and his own son, Clay Thompson. Michael Sweetbell Thompson shares his journey in the NBA. The year was 1978, just weeks before the Bahamas was set to celebrate its fifth independence. Standing tall at an impressive 6 foot 10, Santa Michael Sweetbells Thompson etched his name in Bahamian sports history as becoming the first non-American player to be drafted number one in the NBA. Thompson recognized the weight of the achievement, openly admitted to feeling the pressure of the accomplishment. So I knew I had a big responsibility on my shoulders, not only for myself and my family, but for my whole country. I was going to represent the country and be the first one to be able to do that. Man, that was a great honor and a privilege. I was so proud of that moment. Before spending some 13 seasons playing in the league, he spent his early years here at home. However, it was a twist of faith that led him to migrate to Miami, Florida. <clears throat> I was found by accident. Uh, by a coach looking for another Thompson, Charles Thompson. At the time, I was about 17 years of age, six foot eight. He saw how tall I was. He said, well, son, do you play basketball anyway? And I said, not really. So he said, well, you want to come to Miami, Jackson, and Miami, Florida, and try to uh, pursue and see what you can do with basketball? And at first, we didn't think that was a good idea. My father was very reluctant. How did you get the nickname Sweet Bell? Man, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the craziest nicknames. I was in high school. My teammates named me, nicknamed me Bellamy. It's just like it happened yesterday. I make a good move, score a basket, and Charles yells out, Woo, Sweet Bells! And ever since then, it's stuck. And with his skill set, Sweet Bells found himself at the University of Minnesota. He then played for nearly a decade with the Portland Trailblazers and the San Antonio Spurs. However, it was a move to the Los Angeles Lakers that proved to be the turning point in his career. For me, representing the Bahamas and then culminating that, topping that off to by winning a championship and be able to wave that Bahamian flag in the, in the Laker locker room while we're celebrating, man, that meant everything to me. The center was welcome home to a hero celebration after winning his first Larry O'Brien trophy in 1987 before winning his second ring in 1988 with the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, at that time, recognized me and want to honor me in that way. I was uh, very blessed and very proud and very thankful that uh, I had so much support from the country during that time. What is your hope and your vision for the next generation of athletes and not just in your discipline. If they can do it, I can do it too, no matter what obstacles are in their way. If God has blessed them with a healthy body and a skill and a talent and a passion to do what they want to do. As the Jubilee celebration draws near, Thompson eagerly expressed his unwavering pride in his Bahamian roots. He emphasized that he never misses an opportunity to proclaim that he's from the Bahamas. Full of, I'm full of pride. The uh, Bahamas is a small country, 300,000 people. But we have some of the highest standard of living in the Caribbean, of all the little Caribbean countries. Um, we carry the 242 and those Bahamian colors around with a lot of pride. We're proud to tell people where we're from. Laurencia Smith, Eyewitness News.